show this. If you can see Young Engineers High School, raise your hand, please. Excellent. Excellent. Abigail, if you can see it, raise your hand so you can see it. Um, if you would, go into go into um, Google Classroom and download this Bantam Tools ring. Download that file. You can put it on your desktop or download, but we're going to upload it in a fusion. I want to go for the people that missed or we didn't. Um, I want to go through the rings. I want to go through that whole processing with Cam and stuff so you get used to it. So if you'd be so kind as um, raise your hand once, you put your hands down once you've downloaded this file. Raise your hand. Raise your hand once you've done that, folks. Then I'll show you how to load it in Fusion 360. We'll bring it up and we'll mess around a little bit. All right, great. Got most, everybody. That's online, Tate. If you can do that, great. So you've downloaded that. So if you go into Fusion, which I'm about to, if I go into Fusion, see that, that little folded piece of paper, go File, New Design from File. I'm going to go Band and Tools for me. See, I got my code here in a minute. Hit open. When you have you have that ring up there like that, just let me know. Raise your hand once you have the ring shown like this. Excellent. All right, very good. The 
great. Now I'm gonna put the hands down. Go back over here. Now, when it comes up, it's in cam. We wanna be in model. So first things, look over here where it says cam. Go into model. There's model. It's really not gonna look any different yet, but you'll see sketches down here. That's the, this is the important one. Make sure you're in model, you've drawn sketches here, the lab's on, you're ready to go at that point. R raise your hand once you've done it. Well, I'll tell you, I'll just show you this and you can raise your hand. Then double click on this and up it pops. Go ahead, raise your hand once you've gotten to this point. All right, so we got here John, Mark, Laura, and Tate. Let's go ahead and see if you can get those on there. All right, now let me just show you something. I'm going to go back to where we were, and there's a point to this. So we haven't changed. Don't change anything on those rings. If you go back... And we go to cam, even though we just by modeling, it's going to say there's a problem there now. All right. And the reason it's saying that is, hey, you were in sketch. We're assuming you did something different here. All right. So go back to model again. I just want you to see. You. All right. We're going to, we're in sketch. We're going to double click that again. Then we're going to click on the number. I'm going to make it point. 70, 0.70 for me. Use that number. It doesn't really matter. We're just learning how to do this. Oops. Make sure you go back to enter before you do that and do the next one. We're going to go ahead and make this one eight and made it wider. So whatever your changes are, go ahead and do that. But key thing to do, don't forget this. I did the last time I was in here. Compare why I couldn't get the change. Like if I go to it right now and I go back to, Ma, to uh, Cam and I go right click on this and I do generate a tool path. They stay red. Oh no, what's, it's not working. Go back to model, let me just show you. Turn off sketch. So right down here, it's gonna be close sketch here, or stop sketch. Right up here, stop sketch as well, hit stop sketch. Now, go to cam, you can right click on this, you can generate a tool path, and they'll disappear. What that's doing, in Sketch, you're changing the sides of everything. Well, Fusion 360 says, we can't really generate a toolpath until we know you're not done drawing this. So that's why it does that. Now, what's cool about that is we can double-click this face. You can actually see, and then we have to... Sure why I did that. What's going on here? Oh, uh, gotta be careful. Oh, I don't like this. All right, it's generating it right through here. You can actually see, clicking on each one of these. Be careful, I don't click. You can see these are actually much thinner, but it's showing you where it actually runs. And if I right click on this, I can simulate it. Watch. It's going to come down and show you what it's going to do. Well, we don't really have to worry a whole lot of this with um, 
The other mills, this is going to be a big deal when we're using the shot bot. Do you understand where it's going in the shot bot? All right, so go ahead and run the simulation. Once you hit pause, or gets the end, you can just do that. Well, this one isn't pausing very well. Then hit escape. And it'll pull it back out of there. for questions. Raise your hand once you've simulated and had to go around a little bit. Try the different ways of doing it. It's fine. Right, any questions? I'm on my phone again. Do you have a Google Class? Do not have a Google Classroom. Tate. Okay. You can't make the circles, Tate. Tate, let's get you over here, buddy, while everybody's doing that. Go over near Google Classrooms. I've shared this once you... Uh, that's why you missed class, I think. You didn't see this or you've forgotten. Let's go on to Google Classroom. You can't make those circles until you have this file. So, here's Google Classroom. Tag, are you watching me? Tag, are you watching me right now? I can't do the next step until I know you're watching me because I'm going to show you this. I'm going to share the codes half the world. All right? All right, great. So what I'm going to do, Tate, I'm giving you this code. Copy it, go back, go back onto. I'm gonna share this with you right now. That code I just copied. Send it to everybody. I just sent it to you. Before we go any further, I'm gonna wait till you've got your on Google on uh, Google Classroom. It's where we're gonna transfer everything. Did you get on Google Classroom now, Tate? Almost done, that's fine.
Okay, good. Now, on Google Classroom, you can see the ring. And that's what you needed to get down. Where's the file? Right where it says Phantom Tool Rings. Just click on that. Okay, and then remember what you do, take, go into Fusion 360, let me do a new one here. All right, here we are. You'll go in there and you'll just simply go to where the where this folded paper is, looks like that, and do new new design from file, and you select Bantam Tools right there. This is on the actual process is on the Bantam Tool website. All right. Great. Now, once we've got once we've run that, I'm just going to generate my toolpath again, make sure it doesn't take it. It'll say, one or more options do not require generation. You sure you want to do this? Yes. When it out and regenerate, it's so fast, it doesn't matter. I can see if it took a while. Then if you hit simulate, we just did that. Now we do what's called a post-process. Click on that. Generic post, other mill, other planets we're using. Program number. Say OK. And then it's going to generate this code. This is where you put, you know, ring time. I'm just saying that. And I hit save. Now what it's going to do is it's going to create a brackets file. And it might even install brackets if you don't have it before. But that's so you can see the underlining. Here's all the G code that was created when we did that. Single lines of code. We're up to 2,500 lines of code to do that. And it was almost instantaneous. All right, so if you go through this, you're going to see it's really a form of Visual Basic. That's just line by line. Go this far, go this, go here, here, get the X, Y, Z locations, and run for so long. And it just repeats that over and over and over again. Okay? So that's the bottom line in all this. So when you go to use, you know, if you go to make a ring, Go to make some other things we have on it. And this is how you use Fusion. This is where, too, you can use Fusion to give you a two-dimensional two profile, which is kind of cool. All right. There's profile right there. I've not used it yet with a laser cutter because Inkscape just does a fine job, but I'm sure it's, a, it's doable. Just I think it's a little bit more than what we need. All right. Okay. Now. No, 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 no. Don't cancel. All right. Let's go into this. What I would like to do is, so we have that video. I'm going to go into Fusion, and we're going to do Sculpting. But what I think I'm going to have you do first on this I have a video I'm going to have you watch, because I think 
this guy does based with my presentations and because these things move I want you to watch it don't worry where you are in the lamp down the road I'll just show you different sections of this thing and down the road I can just share the different pieces with you and you can put it together and have the lamp show this is really as much about just seeing what CAD is capable giving you some things so when you go off to college and study stuff you can say oh I've seen this before alright some people are more into CAD than others this has got a steep learning curve on it we're going to still keep doing some more because you're older but I just wanted you uh, for this part let's just go ahead and roll with it okay I'm gonna hit publish at the end of this lesson, you'll be able to create a freeform model of the stand, create a hole in the stand, and then modify the physical material and appearance. We completed the shed and the arm using a top-down modeling uh, technique. I'm now going to create a new design for the stand. I'm going to create a form, which takes me into the sculpt environment. You'll notice also that we see sculpt there instead of the model workspace we were in before. We can create a number of free forms. I'm going to go with box, start the origin, and key in the first value of 25. Press the tab key, and the second value is 30. Click to place that, and I'm going to place the height, and that's going to be 25 millimeters. I'll leave all the other values the same. Now what I've created is a T-spline freeform model and it consists of faces, edges, and points. Something that's very useful when you start your designs is to add symmetry. So I've created symmetry, you can see that green line through the middle of the model. When I select one side, because of the symmetry, the other side is also selected. I get to modify, I'm going to select edit form. Drag that manipulator and you can see it's actually stretching the model out. That's not what I want, so I'm going to set that back to zero, hold down the Alt key. Now when I drag, because of the symmetry and the Alt key, I'm adding on those legs of my tripod, which is what I want the stand to look like. I moved it around 125 millimeters and then 75 millimeters. And I'm dragging it down and there's a negative value, so it's negative 50 millimeters. Click OK. So that's a good start for this tripod that we're creating. A review of the design to, at this point shows that there's probably a little too much material just in that center section. So I'm going to double click on that edge, which also selects the bottom edge, double click on here. So now that complete edge is selected. I can now right click to get to edit form. Before I start to drag that back to remove material, I'm actually going to add a little bit. I'm going to stretch that out. So, stretch that a little bit, and I'm making these changes quite small at this point. Drag that back. So, I'm moving those faces. Unlike the Alt key, I'm not adding material. I'm just stretching these or editing the form. So, again, very small increments, and that looks better. Click on OK. So you can continually check your design, but be very careful at this stage. You're pretty close to a good design, so you don't want to make major changes. The other side of the tripod is going to be the single leg. Select the top and the bottom, holding down the control key for multiple selections. I'm not using the Alt key this time. I'm just dragging that out, and it's negative 50. I need to drag that down. So take the manipulator. It shows a negative value, and again, negative 50. So we can see the three legs of the tripod, but this last one, the third one that I created, is the same thickness all the way down. I want to scale that so that it's smaller at the bottom. So I use these little manipulators. If you pick the wrong one, just undo. There we go. I think that's much better. So it starts out at the thickness at the top, and then narrows down as it comes to the bottom. Click on OK. Click in the background of the screen to remove my selection. A quick review of design shows that the portions are good, so we can move to the next stage. 
Something we'll have to check is that the stand sits correctly on the tabletop. So I'm going to double click the stand, edit form, then drag it straight up so that it's back on the original plane. So we can see that the right hand side is much lower than the left hand side. I want to make small changes. So I'm going to make the changes to the right and the left. So select the bottom side, hold down the control key and select the top. And just drag that up. And this is just a visual to drag it until it's level with that plane. Click OK and repeat that on the left hand side. Select one, control key, select the other, edit form, in this case drag it down. And I kind of pushed it out a wee bit, so I'm going to drag that back in as well. So that's good. And this is just a visual check that that will sit correctly on the tabletop. All right. So I moved a little, I moved a little, never mind, got it. Okay, great. Good, Tate, I'm glad. All right, so let's go into Fusion. I'm going to start closing some things out here. Sorry guys, I've been doing this. Okay. Okay. Let's do a new one here. If everybody brings theirs up, they can bring it up as well. We'll do it off some presentation slide, but you're gonna hit create form. And this allows you to sculpt and play and pull like a sculptor might. I I don't know the name's freeform, right? So you create form. And then I'm going to go to, no, I have the menu choices immediately change up here. Make sure when you're done, you hit finish form. And we're going to create a box. Now, I'm going to put it here. I'm going to pull it up here. Now, down here, I'm going to put 25 millimeters. Tab over. 35 millimeters. All right. Then, if you wait a second, which is weird, then it pops up over here and you can change the other values. Don't press center yet. So, uh, the height is 12.5. Then I want to make the 25 millimeters again. So, it's, I think 25, 35. Was it 35, 25, 35? Uh, let me go do that again. Hang on. I think it's 35 actually. 25. 35. Why do I feel like that's not right? Go back to my. Bear with me. Yeah, 25, 30, 25. That's why not 35. Okay, that makes sense now. reading this wrong. Let me look at this one more time. 25, 30, 25. Boy, I had that backwards, didn't I? I think as many times as I've taught this the last week, you would 25, 30, 25. Okay. So, okay. All right. Then, so it's 25, 35, 25. Don't change anything else but that. How do I delete a sign? Just click X and get rid of it. A 
up at the tab. All right, so I'm going to go up here. I'm going to select one side and the other side. Well, I'm going to go ahead and select symmetry. Mirror or turn. I've selected one. I'm going to select the other one. So now I have symmetry right over there. I simply say OK. Then select one, which selects the other side. Select another one. I'm using the shift key to hold it down. Then I'm going to modify. I'm going to edit form. Now, I can do this, or if I use the Alt key, which we talk about doing, which is under Option on a Mac, you can actually make it add material to it. And then you can pull it out this way as well. Which is kind of, that's a bit extreme. I don't use all key, it pulls it out. All right, which is kind of funky. This is why I said it's like molding. And you grab it out here, and you pull it out there. Clearly, I'm having way too much fun doing this. Pull it there. Pull it over this way a little bit. You can get all these weird, very amorphous designs. That's what's kind of cool about it, actually. All right, that's not what I really want to do. So let me go to my power slides. We'll go through it there. So one thing I would say is just play along with it a little bit. All right, so you made it 25 by 3. This is in centimeters. If it's in millimeters, 25 centimeters, 2.5. Once again, it's one of the real advantages of the metric system. Uh, mirror, symmetry, mirror, internal. Then select these two faces and say OK. So now, green line X is a symmetrical line. And we'll, we'll create two legs for it to stand on. Go to Added Forms. Shift click to select both these faces. You want this so they're both on both sides. And use the Alt key. On a Mac, it's also the Option key. And drag to 2.5 centimeters. Oops. Drag it to 12.5 centimeters. Let me know when you get it to this stage. Let me know when you pulled it like that.
It's better just to start over again. I think a lot of these when you start pulling them and things or doing undo. All right, come on, folks. Just see if you can get it pulled out to the 12. And you can play with it a little bit. But I won't go on the next slide until I know we're set. So, Corey, if Levi, Samuel. Glad to see everybody. We've got a lot of people in attendance. All right, most people have, so let's go on to the next one then. So then, drag again, this time using the other arrow, and blue, without, don't have the alt key though this time, and move it seven and a half millimeters. Seven and a half centimeters when you move that one. Okay. And once you've done that, drag it down by five centimeters. So seven and a half across, five centimeters down. Okay, once you've done that, just click. Once you're satisfied, click OK. You'll play with it a little bit and redo it if you didn't get it. All right. Some of this is a little bit thick. Well, I'll wait. Let me know how many people got into this stage right here so I don't go too far. Raise your hand if you got into this stage. Okay, wait a few more minutes.
All right. Now, so again, don't hit the old key when you move that 75, 75 this way and then five centimeters down or 50 millimeters down. But it's, this is a little bit heavy. You just make some small adjustments on this bad boy. Double click on the part of the object and hold the shift. Double click the remaining part of the green line. So you get this blue line. Go under modify and edit. And you start pushing around until you like it. You're kind of pushing it in a little bit. That's all. Any questions here? What are the dimensions? Ah, just keep rolling with it. Just yank it and pull it. I'll go through it with you all in a minute again. View the back of the tripod by rotating that view cube so you see this center. It still got it symmetrical. You pushed in a little bit so it's not so thick. Again, select the top and bottom faces so this time. Edit form and move the face forward five centimeters and down five centimeters. So you pull this out, you lessen this a little bit. And you can modify this thing a couple times. And you can use that to make the end of the thing look kind of good. So that's going to make it five centimeters. Then you're going to adjust the bottom of this. It's not level yet, so we can fix this. By double clicking on the object, then edit the form and drag the whole object up or down. So you learn it's not the object itself, both the top and bottom face of the right side and bringing them up. You know, so you're going to move that, the top and bottom faces the right side, that's this side, bringing them up a little bit. So that way it's up a little bit more, which is what you're trying to do there. You keep doing it until both these lines, this edge hits this line, this line hits that line. Now remove that symmetry or green line there. Go to symmetry clear. Click on the object and hit OK. Then hit finish form. So let me just go through this whole thing again with you for those that need to see it one more time. You're going to go to new design. Create. We're going to create a form. This is much more like sculpting. Correct the box. Click the box. Click it down here. Select. Don't do what I did earlier. I had 35. This is 25 millimeters or 2.5 centimeters. Um, this is 30 millimeters or 3 centimeters. This is 25 millimeters or 2.5 centimeters. Just like this. Don't change any of the other things. We're going to mirror this by collecting this side and this side. Once we select mirror internal, this side, this side, we say OK. And suddenly we have a green line on there for the rest of the time. We create the, the legs of our stand. We go to edit form. Collect one leg here, which does it on the other side. So you might shift so it'll hold. So you do one, which will make that yellow. You do another one, makes that yellow too. You hit, did that by shifting it. And then pulling this out while holding the Alt key, about 125 millimeters, 12.5 centimeters. See how much easier it is than feet and inches? Just by tens. All right. From there, you go to 75 millimeters or 7.5 centimeters. You pull them out. And then down by 5 centimeters. Again, it's a little thick here. You just make some small adjustments, start pushing and pulling, double click 
On this part of the object, hold the shift and double click the remaining part of the green line. So it looks like that. And you're gonna just start pushing everything. Just start pulling the sides of that, pushing and pulling it in. When you think you've got that done, get the bottom faces like that, and then pull them forward and down five centimeters each. If you grab this little thing like that right there, you can smooth off to give it the nose a little bevel. And then you just keep playing with these to get them worked out. You've used this line as your, okay, there's your base. Wow, look at that. What do I got to do? Well, first things I do, slide by, fix this by setting both the top and bottom face of the right side, bringing them up a little bit. Lift this one up and up like that. And then move the whole object and move it over. You got to play with that a little bit. When you're done, hit clear symmetry, click on the object, hit OK, hit finish form. All right, let me see what questions we've got. That's all I really want to get to tonight on this. Okay. With a couple minutes we have remaining, you can sit there and pull it around and play with it. If you like the sculpt, it's really kind of cool. Remember, we can 3D print this stuff. So if you came up with a really funky design you like, we can print it. We might make it a different scale than what you envision it, but we could print it. And I think it's one of those things you never know what it's going to look like until you're in the middle of doing it. Okay, pull it off. All right. Any questions, anybody? Okay, then. I'm going to go ahead because we don't have time to get started. Next one. Remember, we have lab this Thursday night. Um, for those who have Thursday lab, we have it this Thursday. Saturday lab's not for a couple more weeks. All right, everybody. Well, with that in mind, have yourselves a great evening, okay? As it is, what, almost 8.55 here? Go ahead and stop at this point then. Any questions, anyone? Hope not. Take care, y'all.